What was this hair doing the whole time? I don't know. What are we all doing right now? I don't know. This DIY I am lovingly calling the Franken drawers. Sounds easy. I'm a little nervous. Oh, I do this to myself. Hi guys, my name is Becky and welcome to my home. And if you don't know by now, I absolutely love my home and I love DIYing and decorating in it and making it over all the time. And sometimes I document it, sometimes I don't. And when I don't, I regret it. And you guys ask the updates of my home and you wanna see what I'm doing. So I thought I'd start this new series to kind of record all of the different things I do around my home. Now, when I first thought of this idea, I thought that I would just, you know, collect these videos over the course of however long, cause you know, maybe I'll go like weeks without DIYing something in my home. And I thought whenever I have like enough to fit in a video, I'll make it like one episode of this series. But since we're now working from home, I've had a lot of time to do these. So this first episode is gonna happen over like only a couple days. Um, but in the future, it might they might come out more sporadically. But anyways, I'm still thinking of a name for this series. You can let me know below. But what this is gonna be is really gonna be like a literal look into like my DIY diary, the journal of things I do around my home. So. I hope you enjoy and let's jump into the first thing I did. Oh, subscribe, by the way. Really trying to get to two million. It's a big goal for this year and would love for you guys to be a part of that, so thank you. Okay, this DIY I am lovingly calling the Franken drawers. And that is because the plan here is to take apart, disassemble, cut up an existing drawer unit and use the drawers separately on other drawer units. Let me explain it a little bit better. So as you can see here, I've got two drawer units that fit so perfectly under this clothing rack with wise chef's kiss. But I've got a third guy here, which does not fit so well under there. And what I've also got is some extra space under here. Hard to tell because dresses are kind of hanging, but there is space. What I'd love to do is take this third guy, cut him up, and add one drawer on top of that one and one drawer on top of that one. So what we're effectively doing is creating drawers that have four each instead of three that have three each. You with me? These drawers are the Ivor drawers from Ikea. I'm not sure if they still sell them, but they came originally in pine. And since my journey of owning them, I have stained them this kind of dark wood color and added brass handles. Um, and they used to be stacked in a row of all three of them, which is why I kind of now have a third one that feels out of place. I think the first step here is going to be figuring out where I would need to cut this third one so that we can perfectly dissect the two drawers. And I think after looking at it, I'm gonna need to use the top one and the bottom one because that will give me the top of the drawer and the bottom to make it more stable as opposed to the middle one which won't have a top or a bottom and might just be a hot mess once we get it apart. Now the good news is that the current drawers sit pretty much perfectly stacked on top of each other. There's no extra little space really between them so I don't have to account for much like gap when I go to cut my new ones because there isn't any. So it's really just going to be this height all the way around the back that I need to draw a line out so we can go and cut it. Which looks like it's about... Hmm. Let's say 95 centimeters. Well, actually it's a little bit less. Let's say 93 centimeters if we're gonna be technical because we're only gonna cut this once, ideally. As you can tell, I never stained this side because it was sandwiched in with the other three at the time. I might have to do that now that we might see this piece again. TBD. And now, we cut this. <laughs> Sounds easy. I'm a little nervous. All right, the only safety glasses we have are sunglasses, but these will work. <laughs> That's a dead battery. <laughs> Alright, to be continued. To Walt. Is it sponsored? It's not. Okay, go. Wait, wait. Stop moving. Okay, wait. Here you go. No. <laughs> I give you an position, then you move. Why are you doing this? Okay, there. You can't even see what it is. Yeah, we're filmmakers. It's supposed to be a nice close up. Oh, 
that's a real shot. She's wow. free! Look at that. That's great! Sweet! Okay, I gotta do it again. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the top of the old dresser and the bottom of the old dresser and I think to keep it as stable as possible, I'm gonna have to put, hello focus. And I think to keep it as stable as possible, I'm gonna have to put the top on the top and the bottom on the bottom. Wow. So ran down to my miscellaneous drawer of tool items to grab some wood glue and luckily I found these guys which are Corner braces, don't know what random DIY project they're from, I never use them, luckily I didn't return them. I think all I need to do is put some wood glue to hold this down and then add one of these to each side to really make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Cool, she's stable, she good. All right, um, bottom one's gonna have to get done upside down, so we'll see how that goes. All right, um, I think it worked. Time to assemble these back together and see how it looks. Fingers crossed. Oh, baby, that's crazy. Aside from the stain kind of being all over the place, you would never know that that wasn't four drawers. Originally, I think at least. I originally had these two actually screwed together, so I'm gonna put those screws back in before putting the drawers in. It just stops them from shifting around so much. I feel like, this is just me being particular, but before, oh, hello? sunset lighting. You probably can't tell, but I feel like this one is the tiniest bit lower than this one. So before I like, oh wow, I'm sorry. <laughs> so before I like proper, proper screw them together, I think I have some little plastic feet that I could put on just that one to make it like, like a millimeter or two taller. I think that in the long run, it would just bother me less. Let's try that. I saw them the other day, I swear. Mm, nope, I literally just saw them. I am going crazy. Oh, perfect. Okay, height difference before. Height difference after. Much better. Oh my god, okay. Gotta put the drawers back in. I am losing light. Does it work? There's like the littlest gap there, but like it's fine. I'll choose. That's the right answer. Once all the drawers were back in it, I am so happy with how this turned out. Usually I'm pretty confident when I start a DIY project that it's gonna turn out, but this one I honestly had no idea. I am impressed that it looks as seamless as it does and that it's as sturdy as it is. Like it's it's pretty rock solid in my opinion, and I don't think that anyone would ever think there was something up with it if you saw it at a glance, so that makes me a happy DIYer. <laughs> Okay, next up, let's talk about my staircase here. So when we first moved into this house, this staircase was carpeted and the carpet had
had seen some better days to be honest so shortly after I ripped it all out and it was just kind of raw wood underneath but it was in really rough shape so my quick solve at the time was to just paint the whole thing white which I still really love but I didn't do it like properly and finish it the way I should have and I'd like to do that today so let me show you what's going on as much as I try and clean it it still always looks a little bit dirty well a that's because it's white and that's the problem you get with anything white but B it's because there's all these little tiny holes in the wood from where I think the carpet was nailed down or the woods just kind of rough and uneven but I think most of these are nail holes and I never actually took the time to fill them when I did because I thought the paint might just do it but over the time the paint settled and dried and it didn't and now there's all these like little scratch marks that have shown up and and overall just kind of holes and cracks. So what I want to do today is take some wood filler or whatever I have around the house, I'm gonna have to go check, and fill all the tiny little holes, let it dry, and then give this whole thing a brand new coat of white paint. I don't think it'll be too hard, I think it's just kind of gonna take some time between letting the filler dry, sanding it, and then letting some coats of paint dry. So let's get to it. Hello. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Okay, so I know I've got at the very least, ooh, messy drawer is full and messy. At the very least, I have like wall putty filler, but I just don't think this will dry as sturdy as like a wood filler would because this is meant to replicate like drywall. Could be wrong, but that's my feeling. Okay, and this one is walnuts, which like it would work, but it'd be harder to paint over this because it's dark. But I think I have, oh, perfect. Okay, I have a white one. I have stopped looking at the viewfinder. I'm so used to um, shooting with like our big fancy camera in the office, but now that I'm home, it's so much harder to work because there's no flip out screen. So now I have the flip out screen vlog camera and it's so tempting to just like stare at yourself. Just filming from home things. So this is gonna be perfect. Let's go, let's go do that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start from the top and work my way down so that I don't step on anything while it's drying. Hack. Okay, as you can tell, there was like so many little spots, like all the dark marks are where I put the filler. And I've just been using some sandpaper, sanding block to sand everything down. And now, I think she's ready for a coat of paint. Okay, um, do not remember exactly which paint color I used. I actually think that it was this Benjamin Moore one, Simply White, which is a really nice white, but I don't think there's enough in here to do the whole stairs again. I can't go out and get more, so... This one was Gallery White, which I don't even know what that was used for, but that might be better than... I don't know, this is Gallery White too. Huh. I don't know what those are from, because the white for my walls that I use is not that color. Well, you know what? <laughs> I'm having a moment where I don't remember any of this. Okay, um, we're gonna do gallery white and see how it turns out because A, I just don't think I have any other options. The only big cans I have that are white are this color. So let's do it. I also realized that I don't have any actual paint sticks because of stir sticks and this paint has been sitting like downstairs for a long time. So I'm using a literal stick from my backyard. A literal stir stick to stir this paint. And it's kind of working. There might end up being some bark in my paint, but you know what? At least it will be evenly mixed. <laughs> Much better. Okay, I'm gonna start with the areas that are like hard to reach with an actual paintbrush and then come in with a little roller to do all the flat steps afterwards. I need to tell you guys that when we got this house, this hallway up the stairs was actually like painted this crazy neon orange color. And I remember thinking like, oh my God, who would want a hallway that's super orange like this? And I obviously painted it white right away before even taking off the carpet. But now it's funny that like two years later, I just went in and painted my bedroom basically orange. Um, if you haven't seen that video, you can uh, check the link in the description. Maybe give me a subscribe while you're at it. <laughs> but design trends are funny, man. Like I, in my head, I remember that orange being so bad, but now I wonder if I could see it again. Like. How bad was it really? I don't know if I have any photos of the hallway anymore, or like ever did really. I am curious, would I still hate that orange color now? <laughs> Oh, 
okay it's the next day and stairs are dry and looking beautiful and clean um some people might wonder why i'm not painting this um handle what's this called uh oh my god um railing wow why i'm not painting this railing i don't know like i just really like the way it's kind of worn away how it's like used to be white but now like the wood has come through over time i think it has character i'm gonna leave it for now but one thing i do want to address is these stairs you know can stay pretty clean but this one single step here you can see there's dog footprints here already and I just painted this because Danny likes to come and stand just on this little step here by the door because he always wants to go outside. So like this is the one step that I know is not gonna last. So we have this floor mat here which just got replaced by a better one underneath because this is a really old one and it's, you can tell it's already ripped but I wanna see if I can cut it to fit just on this one step and then like maybe get the like picture off of it somehow because that will make this step hold up a lot better that is crazy how perfectly this fits do you see it's like meant to be the size of this stair <laughs> Okay, and then I've got no good idea how to get this image off the mat, so instead, I'm just gonna paint over it with some black paint. Okay, I went and did like a little semi-circle design just because I wanted to not cover the whole thing in black, but still get that like compass pattern covered up. And I think it turned out really, really cute, which that's like the last thing to this stair DIY that needs to do, and I think the stairs as a whole did like a full 180, and they're looking really good. So um, Austin came home and I guess I didn't realize that the mat wasn't dry and look, all the way up, <laughs> my white stairs are black footprints. Yep, 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 we're gonna need some more white paint. Okay, and the very last thing that I wanna do to complete that staircase makeover is put up a gallery wall. I have been for the last little while thrifting random picture frames because I refuse to buy them new because you can always get them at the thrift store for like a couple dollars. And I've been stockpiling them, plus I have a bunch of old like frames from, you know. I just have them from different times in my life. Because a while back, I watched uh, Helen Anderson's Home Tumor, and if you haven't seen it, you need to see it. I'm gonna link it below, because her house is just so cool, and so whimsical, and creative, and just like, uh, it's a really cool house. I love it. And she has a lot of really cool art around. Now, I have said before, like, I know people are gonna say, but what about that time you said this? I said I felt. I said that I was never a fan of art in my house. That's just because like a lot of art I never felt like a personal connection to. But what I wanna do is put a lot of stuff that's either like photos of me and my friends or like art that people made for me that's really cool. Like all that stuff means a lot to me. So that I would love to have in my house, obviously. And I've always thought the staircase is like a boring area and I think it'd be really cool to jazz it up. And did I bring this full circle to Helen yet? I don't know. She has so all over her house. A, the coolest wallpaper you've ever seen and be a lot of really cool art and like gallery walls around and in her kitchen specifically I think it's like photos of her friends which is really cool and I like I have a lot of old printed photos of my friends and never thought to like hang them so now is the perfect time to do that so the first step is gonna be gathering all the random frames and art that I have around my house just so we can see what we're working with Okay, so this pile is all like photos and stuff to be sorted to go in the frames, but I think I'm gonna save that to later and start with actually placing the frames on the wall first and then add the art last. So my biggest tip on how to do a gallery wall without driving yourself insane is to mark out all the sizes of your frames on paper. You can use recycled paper, old newspapers, it doesn't matter. Anything to get the size of them right and place it on the wall to know where you want it before you commit and put like a million holes in your wall. And then make sure you mark where the hanging hardware needs to go on the paper. Mm -hmm. 
All right, it's the next day and I've got all of my papers stuck on the wall and I did not think that we'd use every single frame that I had, but we did and like, it's gonna look so epic. I'm so excited. So all I need to do now is just put a nail where I marked out all the hardware cause like that's why we did that. It makes it so easy. Put a nail in and hang the frame on. Why do I do this to myself? Hmm. Gallery wall is up and I think it totally like nailed the concept in my head which I really wanted to go for like this cool like music club or like this comedy bar and they have all the art on the wall on the staircase usually of like people that have played there and it's like artists and it's just like I don't know a cool collection of really cool images. Austin came home and literally said what did you say? Me. Oh. He said something like, it feels like the staircase in a diner when you're trying to find the bathroom. Yeah, when you go downstairs and it's like really weird. Basically, you said what I was trying to like embody in, in funnier words, which I didn't even tell you. And you were like, it feels like the staircase in like this cool place. And I was like, yeah. Very cool. Thank you. Thumbs up, like the video, y'all. <laughs> also, I just want to say this is like going to change. It's in like a state of flux because there is art that I want to print and put the, in them at a later date when I can go out and get stuff printed and I just feel like it's something that might just always be evolving as I take new photos or get new art or cool records or stuff like that which I think is kind of what makes it special and cool as well. I hope you guys like this episode in what I still don't know I'm gonna call this series. Please leave your title suggestions below. If you liked this video and like seeing kind of the things I do around my home, consider giving us a subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes and future home DIYs that we do. We also do fashion and more lifestyle-y stuff, but um, would love to see you around. So consider giving us a subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. I hope you all are staying happy, healthy, sane during these times. Maybe this is a little bit of inspiration about things you can do while you're at home too. I think it's actually the perfect time to all like consider our spaces and maybe do any like home upgrades you've been thinking about doing if you're able to but yeah hope you guys are all doing well and can't wait to see you guys in the next video bye